We often look up at clouds and try to interpret the strange shapes. We might see horses, sharks, maybe even strange faces. But our next sighting involves a cloud shape so bizarre, the video footage set social media ablaze. Take a look. July 15th, 2022. It's a clear summer afternoon as Nisha Higgins is traveling down the highway in Tempe, Arizona. But as she drives past the airport, she catches something floating in the distance from the corner of her eye. So she pulls out her phone and captures this. Y'all see that? What is that? Let's zoom in. A mysterious looking dark, oblong object appears to be stationary in front of the clouds. Honestly, it looks a little like that 1957 Holloman Air Force Base UFO. Author Jason Martell agrees that something here doesn't seem right. We can see other clouds in the vicinity that are much more fluffy in nature. This one seems almost out of place. The object raises enough of a concern to wonder what exactly it could be, but it just in general looks very UFO-like. A UFO in the shape of a cloud? It may be a possibility. Social media sites are littered with UFO cloud sightings. In California, Mount Shasta is frequently blanketed by strange oblong clouds, which has prompted some speculation that these clouds act as a UFO cloaking device, hiding alien visitation in plain sight. But others argue these strange shapes are proof of government weather manipulation. The phenomenon of cloud seeding is basically using certain chemicals that increase condensation inside the cloud, that way also increasing precipitation. This combination of chemicals has been known to cause rain clouds to form. We know that no less than eight states across the U.S., Arizona being one of them, actually use cloud seeding to mitigate drought. Hidden aliens, government weather manipulation, or something else, UFO clouds are having a moment. For millennia, oracles looked to the heavens and judged the significance of strange shapes in the sky. But in this modern space age, some are asking, could many of these strange shapes have been UFOs all along? Let's see if our experts can figure out if this cloud could be more than a cloud. First, could there be a spacecraft hiding in that cloud? We asked video analyst Mark D'Antonio. The ATC, or Air Traffic Control, has uh, pretty sophisticated radars. And right now, there's virtually no objects that can go undetected by airport radars. A check of FAA records shows no near misses in the area that day, nor were there any nearby rocket launches. And while some argue UFOs might well have radar cloaking technology, D'Antonio points out the FAA isn't the only one monitoring the skies above Tempe. So if it's not a secret alien ship, is it a government weather manipulation program? Is this a cloud seeding project? The problem with that for me is that this is an extremely small localized cloud. But a cloud seeding operation is a vast operation. You're not going to cloud seed right in this one little spot. I don't see any way in which this could be weather manipulation, actually. OK, so if it's not artificial weather, could it be natural? According to meteorologist Juan Hernandez, the clue in the video is the surrounding Arizona terrain. If we take a closer look down towards the ground, we notice that there is some terrain. So this is the Tempe area, which is surrounded by mountains on the north side and the eastern side. These mountains, or specifically the cold gusts of wind that run up into them, collide with the moist atmosphere, creating lenticular clouds that could look a little or a lot like hovering flying saucers. The wind cannot flow through the mountain. It must either flow around the mountain or on top of the mountain. That upcurrent creates a standing wave of cold air, which then collides with moisture and forms this unique saucer-shaped cloud. But why does it appear to stay stationary like an ominous hovering spacecraft? Although the wind is quickly moving, lenticular clouds oftentimes look stationary because that's the right condition for the atmosphere to condensate. After all, the perfect lenticular cloud conditions are created by unmoving terrain. So these clouds tend to form and dissipate in those perfect stationary spots. And they oftentimes look fairly ominous. So I can see why someone would mistake this for a UFO. Our verdict, lenticular cloud. 
We agree with Juan Hernandez that this is an extraordinary looking natural phenomenon. But if you happen to have your camera and get footage of a massive UFO drifting over your town, be sure to send it our way.